Hi everyone, welcome to Yarn Stitch Color. I am Arundhati and today I am going to show you how to make this beautiful hound's tooth stitch. It is a very easy stitch and every beginner can attempt it. It's made with two colors of yarn and the, uh, as the contrast between the colors increases, the beauty of the stitch is highlighted. That's the front, that's the back or the reverse. It's a reversible stitch so I would love to uh, make it, uh, use it for a scarf. People use it to make vest or even beanies and it looks really great. That's the front and the back and on the side it's, it looks like this. So if you use contrasting colors, the stitch is really beautiful and we of course always need two colors of yarn and the prerequisite skills to make this stitch is you should know how to make a chain, a single crochet, a double crochet, how to change colors and how to carry yarn. We will anyways now see how to do all of that. But even if you know any of these or all of these, you can easily make this stitch. It looks absolutely great in a scarf and I hope to make one and share it with all of you. But right now we are going to see how to make this stitch. And the row repeat for this stitch is just one. Okay, so the same row gets repeated over and over. So you can uh, take it along even if you are traveling or you are busy with some work, the mindless crochet bit comes in. So even if you are not going to focus a lot on the pattern, it's fine. It's just a one row repeat. You can make it anywhere, anytime. Alright, so let's start and see how to make this stitch. We will begin with a regular slip knot. And chain a multiple of two plus one so I have made 18 chains here and I'm going to make another one so plus one now we are going to skip this first one and single crochet in the next so we will skip this one and single crochet in the next chain. So the second chain from hook. Yarn over and pull up. Two on the hook. Yarn over. Pull through two. Okay. And in the first single crochet we are going to attach a stitch marker. Now we will make a double crochet in the next stitch. So yarn over and in the next stitch we will place a double crochet. That is all there is to this row, the first row. Okay, we will single crochet in the next one, double crochet in the stitch after that. So across this row we are going to repeat making a single crochet and a double crochet. So single crochet here, and a double crochet in the next. Now I'm just going to say what a single crochet is. So everybody who's new, it might help them. Alright, so for single crochet we insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up. We have two on the two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through both. For a double crochet we will yarn over and then insert into the stitch, yarn over and pull up. We will have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Continue making a single and a double 
till you reach the last stitch across the whole row we will continue making a uh, alternate of single and double we are towards the end and we are left with just one stitch the last stitch is always going to be a double crochet so it is not that we are going to make a double crochet but you'll end on a double crochet okay so the second last should be a single crochet and the last one will be a double crochet but here we will also be changing colors so yarn over and pull up you have three on the hook yarn over pull through two and stop because we are going to change colors pick the new color when you had when you are left with two loops on the hook do not complete your double crochet simply take the new yarn yarn over on your hook and pull it through complete the stitch with a new color okay now chain one with the new color and attach a stitch marker to the top of double crochet all right now we will flip the work so your work will be looking like this right below your hook we will flip it and the last stitch of the previous row becomes the first stitch of this row here please pay attention because we are going to start carrying the yarn so to carry the yarn the first stitch will be really important because the yarn looks like this okay it's hanging away from the top of the stitch ensure you are taking the yarn like this over your hook and then inserting into the first stitch where was where your uh, stitch marker was from the previous row that's where the top of double crochet okay ensure it looks like this okay that's how we are going to carry the yarn throughout and yarn over and pull up because we are going to make a single crochet and when you pull through ensure you're pulling through all the old yarn so it will be this plus the yarn that you're carrying below it you should be pulling the yarn below it and this will automatically happen it's not very complicated but I'm just trying to share it clearly okay yarn over and make your first single crochet of this row once we've made that we are going to move up the stitch marker okay we removed it from the stitch below and added it here now the carrying yarn so your old yarn from the previous row is called the carrying yarn so the yarn that you're going to carry so that yarn will automatically come like this because we managed not we managed we have to uh, take it like this in the first stitch right so it, now it's going to be easy so the first stitch was a single crochet second will be a double crochet so yarn over insert and pull up yarn over pull through two and pull through two insert in the next stitch going below both also ensuring that the yarn from previous row is there yarn over and pull up yarn over pull through two so this row is also going to be a repeat of uh, alternating single crochet double crochet single crochet then double crochet so that's all we are going to do across this row too so that was a double crochet then we have a single crochet next we will make a double crochet 
all right so keep repeating this and i will see you at the end of this row so i'm towards the end i'll make a single crochet and that's our last stitch so if there was no stitch marker this would have been super difficult to see that's why please use stitch markers now we are going to make the last stitch which is going to be a double crochet yarn over insert into that stitch ensure that the yarn that we were carrying is also there yarn over and pull up yarn over pull through two now we are again going to change yarn and not finish the stitch with same color we are going to finish the stitch with our main color okay ensure your this yarn goes on the back okay if you bring it on the front then it's going to look a little bad so ensure that's on the back and we are going to complete the stitch with the main color that is all then we will chain one okay i'm going to remove the stitch marker and place it in the top of the last stitch okay okay so we have placed it in the last stitch and then we know we will just flip the work and place a single crochet in the first stitch where we've placed the marker but remember to carry the yarn from previous row so we will keep it like that okay only for the first one you'll have to make this effort of ensuring the yarn goes above the hook and then insert into the stitch it will look like this then yarn over and pull through so yarn will come below all of them yarn over and complete your single crochet once we do that we will remove the stitch marker and place it in the top of single crochet this is going to be our row 3 row 3 is of course a repeat of row 2 all right so yarn over insert under the next stitch as well as the yarn that we are carrying yarn over pull up yarn over pull through 2 pull through 2 insert in the next stitch and make a single crochet insert in the next stitch and make a double crochet and continue if at some point you feel that the yarn that you're carrying is getting loose somewhere you can just give it a small tug okay so if it's gotten loose somewhere it will straighten itself out don't pull too much and you can do that at the end of the row too okay at the end of any row you can just give it a nice tug but not too tight all right so now we will continue making this uh, repeat of single crochet and double crochet turning the work and continuing to the length that you want so i too will make a few rows and come back that's how the stitch looks like okay. and for aesthetic purposes only and it will of course make a difference in how the whole thing looks like I'm going to end with the same color that we began with because it's a one row repeat there wouldn't be much of a problem but it's good to end with the same color so to make the last stitch 
we will as usual insert in the stitch ensure there is carrying yarn to the yarn that we are carrying yarn over pull up pull through two and for a double crochet we would just finish with a pull through two right I am going to take this yarn and put it over like this and finish with the same color yarn okay this is just to lock the yarn and then chain one tight and cut the yarns that's the reverse that's the front so you can cut the yarn and sew in the ends I hope you've loved this tutorial if you have please comment like share it with your friends and uh, that would actually greatly help me to understand that you like the stitch thank you so much for watching